bibliophile travelers that want to visit Croatia should get their hands on Croatia's first historical novel. Written in 1871 by August Genoa and recently translated into English, The Goldsmith's Treasure is a tragic love story and is often compared to Romeo and Juliet. It is a tale of prohibited love between the common daughter of a goldsmith and a nobleman's son, and it's set right in the heart of Zagreb. Although the leading characters in the story are fictitious, the same medieval streets, squares, churches, markets, and monuments you will see in Zagreb all appear in this book. Let's meet Dora and Pavio. So uh, we are the fictional characters from this novel. This is the first creation historical novel. It's called The Goldsmith's Treasure. And uh, the author of this book is one of the most famous Croatian writers. His name is August Genoa. Um, some people call this book the Croatian version of Romeo and Juliet because of its tragic love plot. Uh, this was Dora, and she was a commoner. I was a nobleman. My name was Pavle. And because it, it was the 16th century, uh, you know, marriage between two different classes was impossible, so uh, we made a lot of enemies. Uh, and one of them, his name was Grga Čokulin, he poisoned Dora right there in, in her house. Her house was the first house to the right of the stone gate and, and, and she died. And after that I was so sad and hopeless, so struck with grief that I went to war against the Turks and I died there fighting. So it's a very, very sad story. The fight for love and passion is dramatized with the addition of nobles, commoners, charlatans, and murderers, all who attempt to divide the devotions of Dora and Pavio. In order to commemorate their famous heroine, the residents of Zagreb commissioned Croatian sculptor Ivo Kerdis to create a statue of Dora. The city set the statue into the wall of the stone gate just next to Dora's house. Dora lived in the first house on the left of the stone gate. It was her job to lock and unlock the gate every morning and evening. Her iconic image is always holding a small chest with a key to the gate inside. A monument to the author, August Shinoa, can be found a short distance east of Yelachika Square. <laughs> 